I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making crock pot candy. Stick around. Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Recently, Mrs. Randy Makes Candy sent me a link to this recipe on the Dinner at the Zoo website. I'll link to it in the description. It's basically nut clusters, which are already pretty simple, but bringing a crock pot to the confectionery party makes it even simpler. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own crock pot candy, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using one pound of cocktail peanuts, one pound of salted caramel peanuts, 16 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips, two pounds of white almond bark, and some holiday sprinkles. Feel free to switch up the ingredients in this recipe. I thought about using cashews, which I think would have been awesome, but then I saw the salted caramel peanuts and thought they'd be even awesomer. I'm also using a four and a half quart crock pot, a cutting board, some parchment paper, a spoon, and a spatula. Okay, let's make some candy. Add all of the ingredients to the crock pot. Set the crock pot to low and let it cook for an hour. Stir the mixture, then let it cook for another 30 minutes. Stir the mixture, then let it cook for another 30 minutes. Stir it again. If the chocolate isn't fully melted, give it another 30 minutes. Once the chocolate is fully melted, use the spoon to scoop up some candy and drop it onto the parchment paper. Immediately top it with sprinkles. Let it rest on the counter until the chocolate is set. And that's it! Okay, let's give it a try. Slanchiva! This right here is proof that a recipe doesn't have to be complicated to be delicious. It doesn't get much simpler than peanut clusters from a crock pot, but man, this is good. You really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you join me next time. Recently, Mrs. Randy makes...